pow, pow, pow. But uh, in this video right now, we're going to discuss pseudoriferous glands. So uh, glands are obviously associated an associative organ of the integumentary system. In this video, the pseudoriferous, pseudoriferous glands are going to be the uh, focus of the discussion. So pseudoriferous glands, aka sweat glands. So uh, it doesn't really matter what you call them. They're the same exact thing. So pseudoriferous or sweat glands, there's two different types, epocrine and merocrine. So epocrine, the sweat, uh, very similar to the uh, Sebaceous glands, which we discussed in the last video, uh, apocrine glands, sweats directly secreted into a hair follicle. So with uh, sebaceous glands, the sebum secreted in the hair follicle. And in this case, with the apocrine glands that are pseudoriferous glands, the sweats directly secreted into the hair follicle. Apocrine glands also cause of BOs that are found in the armpits, the genitals, the anal region. Uh, this is why. Yeah, if you don't shower or wear de deodorant, you get those, get those smelly B.O. pits. So you get that body odor. That's due to the apocrine glands. Uh, they are active in puberty. So that's why, obviously, when uh, when some some individuals didn't wear the uh, deodorant back in, back in middle school, when you're starting to become a man or become a woman, eh, the body odor was the body odor was the result, but uh, that's because these apricot glands are active in puberty. And additionally, they do function as a pheromone. Pheromone, big word, but means sexual attractant. So uh, males and females, we produce these pheromones, which are sexual attractants to, to help attract mates. It's kind of a primal thing, but uh, animals in nature do it and we're, <laughs> We're pretty much complex animals as well, too. So we secrete these pheromones, which are sexual attractants, and these apocrine glands, they, uh, they're they secreted as a stress response, too. So if uh, you give it a big presentation from the class, you might, might get those sweaty pits. That's, that's due to the uh, stress response of the apocrine glands. Uh, but there's also merocrine sweat glands, merocrine pseudoriferous glands, whatever you want to call them. Uh, they are more numerous than the apocrine glands. They do uh, function in thermoregulation. So uh, they're much more numerous, function in thermoregulation. So we've discussed this before, but uh, the sweat is secreted, uh, secreted onto our skin. The heat from our blood actually causes this water, the sweat to evaporate, which releases heat which helps to keep us cool. So sweat does need to evaporate to keep us cool. And the merocrine glands, which produces sweat, is what ultimately aids in thermoregulation of keeping us cooler. And uh, the merocrine glands are slightly acidic, so they do form that acid mantle we discussed in the spacious gland episode. Acid mantle uh, is pretty much just an, an acidic layer that covers our, uh, covers our whole body here and it helps deter the bacteria growth. So uh, bacteria won't grow because the acid, the slightly acidic acid mantle helps to deter that growth there. So we got pseudoriferous glands, apricot glands, uh, sweats directly secreted into the hair follicle, cause of BO, sexual attractant, the pheromones, and active in puberty, secreted as a stress response in maricline glands, more numerous, thermoregulation, and they are slightly, uh, the, the glands produce sweat that's slightly acidic which uh helps produce and, and create that acid mantle which deters the bacteria growth so boom those are pseudoriferous glands boy